ladies and gentlemen, in the battle between law and grace, between legalism and liberty, between religion and relationship, grace wins. Why are religious rituals dangerous? Once when I was in Pakistan, I saw a man with a flock of birds in a cage. Another man came and bought a bird. I thought he was buying the bird as a pet, but to my surprise, he immediately set the bird free. My translator explained that some people in Pakistan believe that setting a bird free is a good deed that erases a previous bad deed. They look for forgiveness through the ritual of setting birds free. Another trip, I was in Ethiopia. The week before our team arrived in the city of Chuko, the townspeople sacrificed nine cows. They felt that this religious ritual would give them favor with God. In the nation of Nepal, the birthplace of Buddha, I visited the famous monkey temple that stands on a hill overlooking the city of Kathmandu. I saw an old man diligently spinning prayer wheels. I witnessed a woman offering rice to a statue. I saw a monk burning incense. These individuals were trying to earn merit through human effort. To many of us, it may seem strange to think that setting one animal free or killing another, that spinning wheels, offering rice, or burning incense could affect one's status with God. But beliefs like this are commonplace all over the world. A typical trait of every religious tradition is the need to perform a special deed or a sacred ceremony in order to be blessed by the gods. Muslims pray towards Mecca five times each day. Hindus offer incense to idols. Buddhists go on long pilgrimages. And for most religions, being on God's good side requires a lot more than one or two simple rituals. There's a whole list of to-dos and don'ts. Buddhists follow an eightfold path. Hindus believe in karma. Jews keep the Torah. Muslims impose Sharia law. Each religion asks its followers to do special deeds and good works in order to keep God happy, to avert divine or cosmic wrath, and to atone for sin. Through these means, religion makes religious rituals the key to a successful walk with God. Spiritual rituals include things like fasting, prayer, penance, almsgiving, serving in the community, and generally doing good. As a person does all these things, and whatever other things in terms of moral laws and ethical codes that religion requires, religion promises the rewards of divine blessing and favor, with the ultimate reward being eternal life. Unfortunately, even Christianity has been turned into such a religion. The Christian religion often tells people they have to perform a special task in order to be blessed by God, to be saved from sin, and to be rewarded with eternal life. Have you ever heard one of these messages preached? Go to church or you'll never make it to heaven. What about this one? Give 10% of your money to the church or you're going to be cursed. Meditate on scripture or you'll not have good success. Or confess the word or your negative thought could bring sickness on you. All of these actions are good, but none of them are the source of God's blessing. The blessing of God comes through grace that comes from a relationship with Jesus Christ. All of these actions are the result of a grace-filled, blessed life, not the cause of it.